Hi, my name is Bob. This video is a demonstration of how to make an invoice system using a spreadsheet in order to make receipts for a business. It adds up your parts, your labor, and adds tax and keeps a record and so forth. I am using OpenOffice.org and the name of their spreadsheet is called Calc. Probably you would be using Microsoft Excel on either a Windows machine or a Mac. I am also using Ubuntu Linux. In blue column A is where I will be putting my part numbers which I get from uh, an inventory list. And then the yellow will show the uh, parts cost and the labor and a description. Uh, I'm using a car repair industry uh, example and in column uh, A I'm going to put in some part numbers. This is going to be front brake job, front brake pad, and there is $89.95 for the part, 50 labor, and a description. Uh, this particular fellow has got hot spots on his rotors. That's just a description. He also has rotors which are too thin to re-machine. So I'm going to sell him a couple of rotors. Now, he has uneven pad wear, that's a description, and so I'm going to sell him a caliper, two in fact. Then I'm going to sell brake spray, and that's just a part, no labor, and then brake lube, and then I'm going to do a bleed and flush. Now, this fella says, well, you know what, uh, I'm going to be selling the car, so uh, I really do not want to have the rotor, so you can change it. You put decline rotors. Decline rotors. And even though he's got uneven pad wear, he says, I, would, I don't want to pay for the calipers either. So decline calipers. Decline calipers. And this way you negotiate what is good. I'm going to page down now. I could cursor down, but I'll just hit the page down button. I'm showing uh, 1 through 13, and when I page down, you see the parts total. And here is a total sum of parts, sum of labor. I've also got this other thing in here under the parts column called uh, the uh, shop fee, and the shop fee is 10% of the sum of parts up to a certain uh, unusually odd figure. It's a psychological thing. You put in a weird amount rather than an even figure and people do not object to it. Uh, I have got, as you can see, 10% of 96.8 is 9.68. Now, the state of Texas allows me to put the shop fee under either parts or labor or both and I charge 8.25% tax on parts only. Uh, on discounts, the state of Texas also allows me to discount parts only, and that way they get less tax, but they are very beneficial here in this state towards small businesses. So let's say the guy's got a $10 coupon. I can take $10 off of parts. Or let's say the customer says, you know what, I, I just refuse to pay that shop fee. So you put down 9.68. You can put in any figure you want. Similarly over here you can reduce the labor. You could take it all off if you wanted. Uh, that is a dollar discount in either parts or labor or both. The next line down is a percentage discount in parts or labor or both. Let's say I give a 10 percent discount on parts. As soon as I hit enter the line below right here will show the dollar amount that will be reduced from parts. My parts total is 106.48 and it takes off no this is parts only 9.68 and here it is. That's how much the total is. Okay uh, I have one more type of discount 
Well, let me give another example of that. Let's say I go 5%, sir. I'll give you 5% off of parts and labor. You see how it works. Sometimes the guy will say, well, look, all I got on me is 175. Can you do 175 out the door? Well, you type in 175 here, and it will calculate in the line below how much to give as a discount in order to make this figure come out to 175 even. And it's calculated $18.72, so I put that in, 18.72, and it's 175 even. What that does is it takes parts plus tax and removes the tax in such a manner that you end up with 175. So here we got, here we got a guy, he owes me 175. I'm going to page down again and I can accept as many as three forms of payment. Sometimes a person does not have enough money in order to pay all of the bill on his checking account or for whatever reason he may wish to uh, pay you with MasterCard check and cash. I can take three. Let's say he gives me uh, a check for $100. Now he still owes me 75 and let's say he gives me 50 on a MasterCard. He still owes me 25 and let's say he gives me three tenths. So I give him five dollars change. Now the first one, what was it? I forgot what I said. I've got a drop down box here. I think it was, was it MasterCard? I don't remember what I said. And then here is checking. And then the last one is cash. Well, that is my whole that is my whole invoice. Now I want to put in the customer information in this invoice right here and I've got my own information right here my shop name my shop address and stuff on every invoice there has to be date time invoice number estimate number what customer and so on I have had difficulty in the past because uh, customers would come in they say well I don't have my receipt on me and then I well what's your name oh I got married oh no I moved I sold my car I got a different car well what I have here is a method whereby first thing I do is I look up every single customer see if he's come in before normally you have about 3,000 customers per shop and maybe 20 percent of them are regulars but this guy's brand new I've already looked it up for the invoice number I'm going to put in the time and date. And that's his estimate and that's his invoice number. And in this manner you'll never duplicate. Okay, his name is uh, uh, John Wayne. And where do you live, sir? Uh, 457 uh, Jones Street and I live in he lives in Houston Texas and he gives you a zip and here's his phone number and what did he bring in well he brought a 66 uh, Chevy and uh, what was the 17 digit alphanumeric VIN uh, VIN whatever and uh, what was the plate number uh, it was plate that whatever his license plate is and what mileage well the mileage one two three four uh, nine or whatever okay now I'm going to copy all of that control C then I go back to my sheet and I'm gonna put it right here but I'm gonna transpose it so I'll go edit special paste and transpose okay and Shazam there he is when I save this I'm going to save it as a PDF file and it's gonna be forever in my system 
and I'm going to export as PDF and it's gonna ask me well what file uh, name do you want to use? Well I'm going to use everything and I'm going to put this in temporarily on my desktop so that you can see and I hit save and I'm gonna move out of the way now and you can see what it looks like when you look up a customer you have everything you've got his name his address his zip his uh, what kind of car you can look up anything you want to uh, here's my customer that I just did I'm gonna tap it and it'll show up now that's the invoice that's half of it I'll page down you can see the rest now remember on a real invoice you're gonna be putting in the real part numbers here these are just temporary codes that's to make it really quick and then if the price needs to be higher or lower you change that on the fly let me close that and I'll go back to the spreadsheet and show you on the spreadsheet I've got A, B, C and then I've got these hidden columns D, E, F, G, H and that would be vendor vendor invoice number vendor cost and so on so this is a real system and with macros you got a whole application well that's pretty much all I got I think that anybody who owns a business in the United States does not need to necessarily spend ten thousand dollars for software which always breaks and you're at the mercy of the repair people and it costs five hundred dollars a month anyway plus they reach in and take money out of your bank account if you got a franchise and I've got a whole bunch of other videos on YouTube and I thank you very much